Welcome to episode 49 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and as you can see, I am not in my office. But instead, I just wrapped up a full day of the Agent 2021 conference where Gary Vaynerchuk and the Vayner Media team put on an amazing event, and we talked about business, all things business, and marketing, and branding, and life. And as usual, I'm feeling energized and encouraged that I'm on the right path and the company, my company's on the right path and we're pushing our clients on the right path when it comes to this little thing called branding. And I say it a lot and today was just another reiteration that I'm gonna talk about brand, 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 and brand. And there's confusion on what brand is and people think brand's their logo and we talk about it, it is not. And people think that it's a color scheme and it is not. But brand is the feeling that your customers get that help inform their buying decision and help them decide purchasing a product or service from one vendor over another. I take it a step deeper and I say brand is actually a reflection of how people feel about themselves. So when they affiliate with you, when they buy your product, when they hire you to do service uh, services for their organization, it's because they see you or your product or your services as a reflection of themselves. So, you know, you know, I'm big on automotive. The auto industry is very, very broken and brand is going to be the only thing that you can fix that brings long tail success. And actually we have some case studies now we have our first quarter of clean data and it shows that brand first marketing makes advertising a lot cheaper. You have to invest to make the content and have the strategy, but a funny thing happens when you do that and you make content contextual to the audience that you wanna to speak to and you're not just shouting prices and payments at them all the time. The funny thing that happens is that people wanna do business with you because they feel like they're understood and they feel that there's aligned values and they feel again that there's a little bit of a reflection of themselves in the way you do business and what happens in businesses and in sales organizations sorry for the noise they're dismantling this whole set behind me but what happens in business and the auto industry and the real estate industry and anything that is sales driven and lead driven is that there's so much pressure to focus on the short term things, right? So we'll spend $10,000 and we'll make a video and we'll run some Facebook ads and they're brand centered. And if something doesn't change in three weeks or two months, we're like, boy, that was a waste of money. Let's stop doing that. Let's go back to cold calling. Right, it's just the good old standby. Let's go back to the old way, why? Because obviously this new way doesn't work. But the problem is there's an addiction to the tactics of always focusing on the bottom of the funnel where the little sales lead falls out and the little in-market shopper comes out and everyone has their M50s pointed at that in-market shopper with all their bottom of the funnel activity and it's just a, it's a bloodbath. It's a great analogy. Everyone's trying to snipe that, that in-market shopper at the very last minute. And maybe you'll win, maybe you'll lose. And the second you stop spending a fortune of money to try to get that customer, the second you stop, right, you're out of the game, completely out of the game. So why would anyone or a company say, well, I don't want to leave my fate up to whether or not I can hack the algorithm enough to hijack that in-market shop, in shopper at that moment? I don't know why anyone would want to leave their fate up to that. And how do you ensure that that doesn't happen? You invest in brand building and contextually telling your story and having a strategy so that your team also understands your brand so that your customers can understand your brand. And that's what you're about. That's why you do business. That's understanding the feeling you want them to have when they see, feel, interact with, see on social media, walk into your store, buy one of your products, hear your name. What's the feeling that it invokes? So when that is the case and you're building brand, what you're doing is focusing on not making yourself vulnerable to the bottom of the funnel. Sorry, again, sorry for all the noise. People are just pushing dumpsters behind my microphone right now. So not making yourself vulnerable to being sniped out at the last moment by putting all your time, energy, and attention into the bottom of the funnel activity. It's holistic living. It's like if you want lower blood pressure, you can do a couple things, right? And if you say you want to be healthy, well, 
it's easy to take the blood pressure medication. You just have to take this pill and that pill will completely enable your unhealthy lifestyle to continue. You can continue to eat like crap and the doctor won't yell at you as much because your blood pressure is low. Why? Because you're taking the pill. Guess what? You're not doing yourself any long-term favors unless you change. Yeah, maybe your blood pressure is low. It's better for your kidneys and all that for short term. Long term, it's going to get worse again. Long term, your arteries aren't any healthier. So what do you have to do if you want to get healthy? Well, you have to eat right and you have to exercise and you have to be stressless or be less stressed. And all those things combined, holistically, bring your blood pressure down. Oh, and a funny byproduct is all the other parts of your life are good too because you're healthy and that you feel good and you have energy. So bottom of the funnel marketing, algorithm hacks, the new Google thing, the new tool from your vendor, all of that stuff isn't terrible in and of itself, but what it definitely is, is a hack. And a hack works good for a minute, but then the second that wears out, you need another hack. And that's the problem. When you talk about brand, it fixes that. Brand is the long-term ROI. Brand is something that you will have tomorrow when a recession hits or when there's a downturn. Guess what matters? And when you don't have money to spend on marketing, what happens? When you pull back all these levers, you go, oh, we can't spend, we can't spend, we can't spend, but we're really starving for cash. Guess what? When you've already done the work to build brand, you still get customers. Not only that, you disproportionately conquest customers because you've already done the work. So as you can see, I'm really fired up. I'm gonna keep it short. Um, and that's what I have to say about brand today, just every turn, every turn, everything Gary said, the things his team were saying, the things we were hearing from other industries, it's about brand. So that's the point of this podcast, episode 49 of the Clarity Compressed podcast, which was frankly launched just about a year ago after this event last year inspired me to create regular content so that the message can go forth and I can connect with the other people who believe. And guess what? I'm going to give you a little secret. I asked Gary, I said, so I had some time where I actually got to sit with him at dinner and it was awesome. And I said, hey, so I'm trying dealers, automotive, so pivoting back to automotive for a second, automotive dealers are really addicted to these tactics and I'm trying to you know, show them the value of this brand-based marketing. I'm trying to do that. And he was just like, and we'll probably plug the clip in right here. He's like, stop selling unsellable people. Mm -hmm. You know I believe in that shit. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in convincing anybody in this room about everything I just said. And I was like, that's a really good point. So the people, the old school, right, to bring them from 10 to 100 is not gonna happen. So with this podcast and the relationships and the, the progressive dealers and the progressive business owners who are paying attention to how you win in a 2019 world, Right? Those people are already at like 80 or 85 and they already have an inkling it's the right thing to do. So I realized like the purpose of all this is to bring the people that are from 85 to 100 to start make positive motion in brand building in their organization. So I hope this podcast inspires you to do that today. Um, whether you're an auto dealer or you're a not-for-profit organization, it's the same principles, the same ones. In a relationship, it's the same principles, right? You can do something nice. You can buy your wife flowers, right? Oh, that's a hack, right? It doesn't work every time. It'll work once and then the second time, not so much, right? What's the real solution? Well, let's communicate. Let's work on the feeling you have when you interact with me. So again, universal principles, the moment of clarity is just that. It's the holistic living. It's very simple to adopt. It's very simple, but it's not easy. So I hope you do the not easy thing that has long-term value, long-term ROI. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. It's getting dark here in Miami. I have a plane to catch. I can't wait to go home and land at like 1245 in the morning, in the middle of the night when it's zero degrees at home so I can go home and wake up my wife and kids and just kiss them and tell them hi and I love them. I can't wait for that. I told you before, it's my favorite part of a trip. It's going home. So may you have a good week. May you go crush it. May you have a little bit more clarity as you go do the things that matter to you.